Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Lisa and today we're going to read about pumpkins and the first book we're going to start with is Stumpkin. It's written by Lucy Ruth Cummins and published by Athenaeum Books for Young Readers. Stumpkin. It was a few days before Halloween. Outside a little shop in a big city, a shopkeeper placed some pumpkins on the shelves. A girl came in and looked at the pumpkins. When she was done, she picked one up and carried it away. The other pumpkins worried after their friend. But later they spotted him across the street and way up high. He was a jack-o'-lantern. Beneath his lovely stem, he now had two triangle eyes, a nose, and a giant toothy smile. He had a new home, a perch all to himself high above the street. What more could anyone want? thought the pumpkins. They were thrilled for their friend, and thrilled that they too might one day be jack-o'-lanterns. They were all happily lost in thought, imagining themselves as jack-o'-lanterns, when one pumpkin realized something was very wrong. Poor little pumpkin, poor little stemless pumpkin, with just a stump, not a stem. Poor little stumpkin, Still, there was plenty to like about Stumpkin. He was a handsome pumpkin, as orange as a traffic cone. He was as big as a basketball and twice as round. Stem schmem. Who knows? Some people might even prefer a stemless pumpkin. Days passed and more people came. Some pumpkins left. Some pumpkins stayed. It wasn't Halloween yet. There were still plenty of windows that needed jack-o'-lanterns. Who would be lucky enough to take home Stumpkin? As orange as an orange, as big as a basketball, round. He was very nearly the perfect pumpkin, very nearly, truly. The next day, new people came, and the shopkeeper's cat settled on Stumpkin's smooth top. Then it happened. A brilliant baby chose Stumpkin until a bad dog ruined it and the baby changed his mind. Oh well, thought Stumpkin. It was the day of Halloween. There were still a few empty windows. There were two left on the shopkeeper's shelf. A boy came and when the boy left, Stumpkin remained. The gourd, thought Stumpkin. I guess that's that. It was Halloween night and the shop had closed. There were no more days left. The shopkeeper scooped up poor Stumpkin and carried him off. Stumpkin wouldn't be getting a window, and he wouldn't be getting a new home. He already had a home. And that made Stumpkin very, very happy. So I hope you've enjoyed Stumpkin. Remember, when you go to pick your pumpkin at the pumpkin patch or the grocery store, just because they don't have a stem, that's not a bad thing. Just a little Stumpkin. And we're going to read my favorite story, Big Pumpkin. It's written by Erica Silverman and illustrated by D.S. Schindler and published by Simon & Schuster. Once there was a witch who wanted to make pumpkin pie, so she planted a pumpkin seed. She weeded and watered, and after a while, a sprout poked through, and then a pumpkin grew, and it grew, and it grew, and then it grew some more. Soon Halloween was just hours away. The witch thought about pumpkin pie and bent down to take her pumpkin off the vine. Well, she pulled, and she tugged, and she pulled, and first she pulled hard, and then she pulled harder. <clears throat> but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the witch. Just then, along came a ghost. 
Big pumpkin, said the ghost. It's big and it's mine and it's stuck on the vine and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I'm bigger than you and stronger too, boasted the ghost. Let me try. Huh, said the witch. But she thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The ghost bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, he pulled, and he tugged, and he pulled. First he pulled hard, and then he pulled harder. <clears throat> but that pumpkin just sat. Drah, said the ghost. Just then, along came a big vampire. Big pumpkin, said the vampire. It's big and it's mine, but it's stuck on the vine, and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I'm bigger than both of you and stronger too, boasted the vampire. Let me try. Hmm, said the witch. Huh, said the ghost. But they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The vampire bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. While he pulled and he tugged and he pulled. First he pulled hard and then he pulled harder. <clears throat> But that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the vampire. Just then, along came a mummy. Big pumpkin, said the mummy. It's big and it's mine and it's stuck on the vine and Halloween's just hours away, said the witch. And she kicked that pumpkin. I'm bigger than all of you and stronger too, boasted the mummy. Let me try. Huh, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Huh said the vampire. But they thought about pumpkin pie and stepped aside. The mummy bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Well, she pulled and she tugged and she pulled. And first she pulled hard and then she pulled harder. <clears throat> but that pumpkin just sat. Drat, said the mummy. Just then along came a bat. Big pumpkin, said the bat. The witch didn't say a word. She just looked at the ghost, who rolled her eyes. The ghost looked at the vampire. The vampire looked at the mummy, and they all looked at the bat, and they started to laugh. I may not be big, and I may not be strong, said the bat, but I have an idea. And the bat told them what to do. Huh, said the witch. Hmm, said the ghost. Hmm, said the vampire. Huh, said the mummy. But they thought about pumpkin pie and bent down to take the pumpkin off the vine. Ready, set, pull, called the bat. The bat pulled the mummy, the mummy pulled the vampire, the vampire pulled the ghost, and the ghost pulled the witch, and the witch pulled the pumpkin. Well, they pulled, and they tugged, and they pulled. First they pulled hard, and then they pulled harder, and snap! Off came the pumpkin. Drat, said the witch. Whoosh! It flew, and it flew, and thud, landed at the top of the hill, and thump, bump, 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 bump. It bounced all the way down to the witch's house, and when it got to her door, that pumpkin just sat. Hooray for the bat, shouted the witch, and she hurried inside to make pumpkin pie. Mmm, said the ghost. Have some more, said the witch. Couldn't eat another bite, said the vampire. Fun party said the mummy. Time to go, said the bat. Drat, said the witch, as she watched them all leave. And then she went right out and planted another pumpkin seed. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed Big Pumpkin by Erica Silverman. And um, I hope you get to, when you pull your pumpkin, it's not that hard to get off the stem. Thank you.